Nigerian Corrosion Association has fixed her annual national conf conference for 22nd of October 2024. The theme for this year's event is Corrosion Management of Downstream and Midstream Oil and Gas Industry. Speaking to journalists in Port Harcourt during the press briefing on Monday, President of Nigerian Corrosion Association, Professor Awal Kazim, said for over 40 years, the association has sanitized the public and partnered with relevant agencies to establish corrosion centers across Nigeria. Secondly, the president called on the River State government and other parastatals to ensure all hands are on deck to make corrosion knowledge domesticated at the grassroots. We are in partnership with the Standard Organization of Nigeria in order to develop corrosion standards, which is like in Nigeria. And uh, several efforts were made previously to investigate the corrosion certification in Nigeria. As it is presently before night I came in today, you will have to subscribe to NES, the National Association of Corrosion, which is a international corrosion organization here in the US for you to register. With the coming of NICA, with the revival of NICA on board, and also the coming of uh, Nigerian Institute of Corrosion, all this trend can be domesticated in one. First. Then secondly, we also undertake a sensitization tour to public institutions. You can see in this project also, we have specific uh, activities. They are marked for students so that we can sensitize them on the import of corrosion so that they can take the money after we go. Thirdly, we also interface with industries to see if they have specific corrosion challenges so that we can come in and provide appropriate we are also in partnership with many government or governmental organizations, such as PTPF and the Nigerian Digital Studio Agency. However, other stakeholders in the Nigerian Corrosion Association took turn to speak on the significance of the group and sent a message across the government. Uh, I want to tell everybody that Nigeria, the military, and the uh, of the administration to identify the gossip players and the government and the agencies that have one of the to do with what they are carrying on. I respect the owners of three stations like uh, these stations we have that uh, the part of this uh, the is for the world they want to hear from us also as uh, parishioners what they need to do to maintain a good protection system in the three stations. Acquiring such knowledge in corrosion control is very important and that it has been mentioned. Bridging the gap between industry and academia is very, very key in this matter. Look at the country we find ourselves is uh, where we look at oil and gas, it's against it. As I said, it's a bit of a report. So the more we have knowledge about how to control corrosion, the more we continue to more asset integrity. So if you take a little example from something I call that. You see that you make a new government, Moto will be passing, everybody will be passing. After like two, three years, it will collapse. What has happened? The road they use the reinforcing it. Because of the poor nature of the country, water goes in. And immediately sees water. Which comes with oxygen. It sounds corroded. At the time, it will disappear. 